Jaguar Health is a commercial stage pharmaceutical company that focuses on developing gastrointestinal products for human prescription use and animals worldwide. What is going on everyone? I hope you're having a great day. To be clear, I am not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only. Today, we'll be focusing on Jaguar Health, a company that trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol JAGX. But before I begin, could I please ask you to like the video and subscribe if you find this informative? Only 10% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel, so please subscribe as it helps the channel out. I make new videos every day, so turn on the notifications to know when I post a new video. And drop a comment below to let me know if you're interested or even already invested in Jaguar Health. Okay, so this is basically their About Us page, and it says that Jaguar Health is a commercial stage pharmaceuticals company focused on developing novel, sustainably derived gastrointestinal products on a global basis. Their wholly owned subsidiary, Napo Pharmaceuticals, focuses on developing and commercializing proprietary human gastrointestinal pharmaceuticals for the global marketplace from plants used traditionally in rainforest areas. And their MyTessi product is approved by the US FDA for the symptomatic relief of non-infectious diarrhea in adults with HIV AIDS on antiretroviral therapy. Okay, so this is the first article that we will take a look at and it says that Jaguar Health and sponsor proposed post-pandemic recovered equity SPAC to host webcast on Wednesday, January 27th to provide updates regarding the potential merger of Napo EU, the company's anticipated subsidiary in Italy. And the article states that Jaguar Health issued a reminder today that the company and the sponsor of the proposed post-pandemic recovery special purpose acquisition company are hosting a webcast on Wednesday, January 27th to provide updates regarding the potential merger of Napo EU, an anticipated subsidiary of the company in Italy with the SPAC. And Andrea Purcelli, in her capacity as the sponsor of the SPAC, will be a co-presenter of the webcast, along with Lisa Conte, Jaguar's founder, president, and CEO. And Porcelli is also the CEO of Swiss Growth Forum. Okay, so this is massive news as it shows that the Napo EU subsidiary is gaining a lot of attention and being approached for a potential SPAC is massive news altogether. So this is big news for Jaguar Health and we'll definitely give them a nice cash to have through the SPAC. And also it has led to more international attention for Jaguar Health, which they are receiving from this SPAC merger. So I've read that it is leading to huge international investments in the company beyond the United States and you can even see this through the millions and millions of trade volume that they have been getting. I believe it's actually in the hundreds of millions. So I'm not saying this is all international traders, but it definitely has contributed to a larger trade volume. And finally, to explain why this Swiss group forum is even interested in Napo EU and interested in this merger is because they project that there will be 350 million in revenue by the end of the first year of the merger with 1 billion by the end of the fifth year. So this further just shows that they believe in this company and they believe in the product and that is why they're getting involved. And the final news I'm gonna point out came out a couple days ago and says that Jaguar Health regains compliance with NASDAQ's bid price requirement. So it says that Jaguar Health today announced that on January 21st, the company received formal notice that Jaguar has regained compliance with the bid price requirement as required by the decision of the NASDAQ hearing panel dated October 28th, 2020. So this is obviously big news as it shows that Jaguar Health will remain on the NASDAQ. There is no worry that they will have to go back down to the OTC markets. So obviously if it remains in the NASDAQ, which it will, then they will remain very accessible for almost every single trader, which is phenomenal and will contribute to their long-term success potentially. Okay, so we will now take a look at their investor presentation that came out in September of 2020. Okay, so the first slide that we will quickly take a look at is their product portfolio. So as you can see, their MyTessie product, their first one with the non-infectious diarrhea in adults with HIV slash AIDS with antiretroviral therapy is already at the market. And their MyTessie cancer therapy related diarrhea product is currently in phase three. And then the rest of the products are currently in phase two, phase one, or even preclinical. 
So as you can see, they have a lot of products that they're currently working on and that they're trying to get into the market. The next slide we'll take a look at is their Jaguar help by the number slide. So starting from the left, they say that the Mytesi Q2 2020 net sales represent 378% of Q1 2020 net sales or an increase of approximately 2.3 million quarter over quarter. At the bottom, it says that this total number of Mytesi bottles sold in Q2 of 2020 represents 155% of the number sold in Q1 2020. And finally on the right, my Tessie Q2 2020 gross sales represent 482% of Q1 2020 gross sales or an increase of approximately 5 million quarter over quarter. So as you can see, Jaguar Health is a company that already has a product in the market. They are not fully R&D, although they do have a lot of projects that they're working on that are currently in phase one and two. They do at least have a product that has been gaining millions of dollars and have been growing quarter over quarter, which is phenomenal to see and makes me bullish on this company. The next slide we'll take a look at is their upcoming milestones. So I'm not gonna run through all of them, so you can definitely pause the video and take a look if you want. But in the Q3 of 2020 slash 2021, they have additional business development activity. Q4 of 2020, they have initiation of human pivotal CTD trial. They also have non-dilutive financing. And then starting in the Q1 of 2021, they have a year end MyTessie financial performance. They are initiating CDD phase one slash two study for orphan indication for the US and Middle East. And the first half of 2021, they have final reports expected for investigator initiated phase two CTD trial and much more. So the way I look at this, it is obviously great to see that they have milestones and things to look forward to and that they have these projects going on. But the way I look at it is these are all major catalysts for the company, obviously. I expect them to be releasing a lot of news, especially regarding the year end my Tessie financial performance and the initiating a CDD phase one such two study. So I'm expecting that in the upcoming weeks. And I think that when they release that and when they release results, hopefully they are good results. I think that'll definitely help the stock price boost. And these are all catalysts to be looking forward to. And finally, their investment highlights. So they're the only FDA approved diarrhea treatment that's been studied specifically in adults with HIV and AIDS. They are expanding their Mytesi product. They have strategic partnerships. So they have the Knight Therapeutics commercialization agreement for current and future Jaguar products. They have extensive global commercial rights to Mytesi pipeline and they have a strong management team. So their key management has been with the company for more than 15 years and the chairman of the board and key investors have invested for over 25 years and finally their proprietary position they have around 144 patents and 39 patents pending their sustainable supply of commercial scale of raw material sourcing and they have botanical guidance protection so there's no generic pathway so these are all great highlights for the company these are all aspects of the company that make me even bullish obviously especially the FDA aspect and the fact that they have strategic partnerships. And obviously it's great to see that they have an IP portfolio that seems pretty in depth. And finally, let's take a quick look at their recent price action. So as you can see, the stock dropped around 3.5% on Friday and was down less than a percent after hours. So obviously Friday was a sell off day. So I was not expecting Jaguar to go up like 10%. So down 3%, it's fine. And if we see the rest of the five day chart, you can see that the stock is down around 15%. So again, factors that could have contributed to this are the general market sell off because of the GameStop and AMC short squeezes. And also there was not a ton of news. The only news I believe that came out last week was the SPAC and the merger which I don't think has fully gone through. I don't think it's fully confirmed. So again, that's not going to be a major catalyst until it is fully confirmed. Besides that, you can see that the stock was mainly consolidating prior to January 27th. And since then, you know, it's kind of been up and down. It's had you know, some pretty good days and some pretty bad days. So there's not much to look at this five day chart. It's kind of been in a regular week with not too much news. So I was not expecting too much. So one of my final thoughts, while I definitely think that this company has a ton of potential, I expect the stock price to only really go up 
with uh, potential catalyst coming out with news that they mentioned in their milestones, their upcoming milestones. And besides that, the SPAC merger could be massive news for this company and could really help this stock price boost and really explode. So I also think that when that is fully confirmed and when more news comes out with that, this stock price might go up. And also their IP portfolio, the pipeline and their management team seem very good. And I think that they are doing a phenomenal job at this company. And I do believe that this company has tremendous potential. So it is just a matter of waiting and hoping for news to come out relatively soon. But again, this is still very much a penny stock. So it is very volatile, as you can see, just by looking at today's chart or even the five day chart. So please be aware of that. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is a relatively new channel, so every like and subscribe does count. I will continue to post videos in the coming days. And let me know what you want me to review in a future video. And I will see you guys soon.